Hey y'all, my name is Jason and this is the show where we make Disney themed cocktails. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the shrunken zombie head from Trader Sam's. Before we jump into making this cocktail, let's talk about it. The shrunken zombie head actually isn't on the menu at Trader Sam's anymore. If you're there, I bet they'd make it for you, uh, but it was taken off the menu about a year ago when Disney did the full refurbishment of the Jungle Cruise. During that refurbishment, they took a lot of scenes and uh, depictions there that were quite culturally insensitive, to put it the least. Most famously, they took out Trader Sam from the Jungle Cruise. Um, they replaced it with Trader Sam's Lost and Found slash gift shop. Trader Sam's The Bar at the Disneyland Hotel, they took the shrunken zombie head off the menu and replaced it with a traditional tiki drink called a zombie. Now, the zombie was invented in the 1930s by Don Beach, the guy who invented like Polynesian pop and tiki. Like this is one of the original tiki drinks ever made and it's personally one of my favorite drinks. Um, so that's when you go to Trader Sam's what you can order on their menu. Again, I'm sure if you ordered a shrunken zombie head, they'd make it for you. But today I'm gonna show you how to make the very famous shrunken zombie head. To start, grab your mixing glass. We're gonna need three ounces of something Trader Sam's calls zombie batch. Now they make this every day. It is a mixture of various fruit juices and uh, syrups. Um, it's really easy to make. Let me walk you through it. The recipe is down below, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna blitz through this really quick. Uh, it is three parts sweet and sour. I made that, it's basically, it's just one part lime juice, one part lemon juice, one part simple syrup. We're gonna add to that three parts orange juice, and then two parts orgeat. Orgeat is an almond liqueur. You can buy it at most liquor stores. If you do, I recommend small hands. They're really great. But really, Origin is just uh, almond milk and sugar. You can make it yourself in about five minutes. One part almond milk, one part sugar. Mix that all together, and now you have zombie batch. We need three parts zombie batch. Now the rum. There are three different types of rum in a shrunken zombie head. Uh, to start, we need Bacardi 8, or really any aged Puerto Rican rum. Bacardi 8's pretty good and readily available. Three quarters of an ounce. The next rum, aged Jamaican rum. I'm using Appleton Estate. It's also what they use down at Trader Sam's, but if you don't have Appleton Estate, any aged Jamaican rum will probably do. Really what this is bringing is a little funk to the party. Three quarters of an ounce. Overproof black rum. Trader Sam's specifically calls for Gosling's 151, but you could really get away with any overproof black rum. This stuff's really cheap and you can find it almost anywhere. Half ounce Gosling's 151. Into our mixing glass goes copious amounts of crushed or pebble ice. A good shake. You want to shake it until you get frost on the outside of your tin. That's how you know it is done. Next, grab your favorite tiki mug. For this, I'm using the shrunken zombie head mug from Trader Sam's because what else would I use? Crack open your tin and give it a good pour. The garnish on this is pretty simple. Spear your cherry into your bamboo and into your orange slice. Drop that into your drink and serve. Mmm, that's delicious. Really, the first thing that hits your mouth on this is the ore shit. There is a lot of that almond syrup in this drink. It's kind of like a Mai Tai in that way, and that it's pretty forward. Followed by that, you get the rum. There's three different types of rum, not a lot, but the, the, the rum is certainly there, followed by the fruit juices, that those that lime the lemon, the orange juice. Mm. This is a super easy drink to enjoy at Trader Sam's. I see why it was so popular. It is a little unfortunate that it's not on the menu right now, but it has been replaced by the traditional zombie. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make that. Until next time, cheers.